Hello guys and welcome back to another one with us to review bros and today we're going to be reviewing a pre-workout by Gaspari Nutrition from Rich Gaspari himself, the IFBB Pro Bodybuilder from the 90s era. We've got Super Pump Aggression <laughs> as we cover the taste, price, label and effects. So stay tuned for this one, we've heard some hyped up things so we're going to be working out if it truly is a powerful pre-workout. And if you're new on the channel and you do like this video, please hit the sub button, tick the bell icon, give the video a like. Let's go. And we're into taste and mixability, and we've got the pleasure of trying Gangster Grape flavor. And it comes in a bunch of flavors, which I'll ping up on the screen because I haven't got that good a memory. But let's see how this one goes down. So mixability-wise, average, about what you typically see. Doesn't look horrific, but let's see how it tastes though. Mmm, quite tasty. It sort of reminds me of, um, you remember those gel pens that you'd have back at school? It reminds me of the bubble gummy, grapey type flavour of that, and it even smells a bit like it as well. It's got a bit of a sweet taste to it, not really sour, so it depends on your personal palate, but for me, as grapes go, I'm not really the biggest grape fan when it concerns pre-workout flavours, but I'll give it one more sip and then I'll give you a score. Yeah, it's really not bad, I like it. There's no horrible undertones to it, no chalkiness to it. I'll be happy to give this an 8.5 out of 10. One other thing I've just realised after I stopped the camera rolling is it does actually remind me a little bit of Cowpole. So if you like Cowpole and you remember having that as a, cut, as a child, then you might like it. <laughs> And we're into that price segment, and we've got the SUP shop to thank for this. They actually gifted it to us. Well, I did have to win a competition for it, but still, nonetheless, thank you guys for sending it over, or handing it to me in the shop, should I say, in person. So if you're in the UK, you can actually acquire it from them. Go onto their Instagram, the SUP shop. That's SUP with three Ps, very important. So give them a follow, check out their goods, and like I say, if you want this, you can get it on there for $37.99 for a 25 serving tub, and it works out as £1.52 a serving. And when you put that on our consistent price scale that measures how expensive pre-workouts are from across the world, it comes in at a 5.5 out of 10. Now bear in mind 5 out of 10 is bang average. It's priced slightly better than your average pre-workout. So we always like to see that. But how is it going to come together in terms of the label? Will it be a better than average pre-workout? But if you are based in the US, you can obviously pick it up from their official website, gasparinutrition.com, for $42.99 or $1.72 per the serving. And again, if you put it on our price scale, it then comes in at a 6 out of 10. So obviously, if you're in the US, you do get a slightly sweeter deal. You know, we always say this because of shipping fees, et cetera, et cetera, of coming to the UK from the US for these types of products. But there we go. So priced better than average all around. Let's get into the effects. Is it worth it? And we're into labels, so we've got a nice big 18 gram scooper. First up, L-citrulline 4 grams, which is an amino acid responsible for increasing vasodilation. So it's going to bump up nitric oxide levels, leading to widened veins and increased blood flow, nutrient delivery. Love to see it. Then we've got beta alanine 3.2 grams, the dose we like to see. That's another amino acid. It's going to help with endurance when it builds up in your system, but it also gives you that itchy, tingly effect. So should get it in this pre-workout, but we'll see. Then we've got betaine and hydrus, two grams, nice dose. See anything from two to two and a half or and above. That's a jack of all trades, so it's going to help with pumps and power, even some nootropic benefits. Then we've got agmatine sulfate, 1500 milligrams, really nice dose there. That's going to pair up with the L-citrulline to help with blood flow and pumps again. Then we move down to L-tyrosine at 1500 milligrams, really nice dose. See anything from a gram and above, we're pretty happy with that. That's going to help with focus and concentration. Then we've got caffeine and hydrus at a nice juicy dose of 400 milligrams, which is the equivalent to four cups of coffee. And that's going to kick in within sort of 20, 30 minutes to wake you up and get you moving. It's the main stimulant in any pre-workout. Then we've got an ingredient which basically stands for PEA at 300 milligrams. That's going to help with pain relief, inflammation, obviously focus and concentration benefits as well. Then we've got theobromine at 200 milligrams, which is that ingredient in chocolate that dogs cannot digest, but it helps us in humans with mood boosting benefits and some mild stimulation, so a bit of energy and uh, mood boosting benefits there. 
Then we've got choline bitartrate at only 100 milligrams. This is very strange. We normally like to see at least a gram when it's in that form, or you know, ideally we'd like to see alpha GPC or citicoline as a more beneficial choline donor. So yeah, I don't think it's gonna do much of that dose, let's be honest, in that form anyway. Then we've got DMAE bitartrate, 100 milligrams, which again is strangely low. Normally see sort of five, six, 700 milligrams of this, this form, but it should help with um, the nootropic side of things. So again, you should yield some focus from that. But again, at that dose, I do question if what sort of effect it will have. I don't know if they're going for some sort of synergy approach here with some of these ingredients. Then we move down to black pepper extract at five milligrams. That's basically a digestive aid. So it's gonna help get all of these ingredients through you as quickly and efficiently as possible. Then we move down to Raulfia vomitora extract, AKA alpha himbine at three milligrams. This is when the, the label takes a turn to the dark side, should we say, because this ingredient can come with some rather nasty side effects in the form of like cold sweats, jitters, excess saliva, you know, some people love it, some people hate it. I guess you could say it's a bit like beta alanine in that regard, where it's got a, it splits um splits the customer base in the middle. You know, you're going to get people on either side. It's a bit like marmite. For us, we don't mind it if it's a an okay dose. You know, if it's over 1.5 milligrams, you sort of go into that realm of getting some of those negative side effects I've just spoke about. But it should help with um, fat burning and energy. And then we move down to the last ingredient here which is Huperzine A at two milligrams, which is a 200 microgram yield. That's gonna help with memory, focus, and concentration. So it does look like quite a stacked label. It's ticking all the boxes you'd want, mostly down the um, energy and focus route, but we're getting a little bit of pump there as well. Yeah, it's an interesting one. It should um, come together quite strong if, if the label translates correctly, but let's get into that in the effects. Okay, we're into a real world effects of super pump aggression. The real reason why you'd buy the pre-workout, the real world effects, right? And I'd say, to be honest with you, it does translate pretty much how you'd expect from the label. As with all of these alpha yahimbine type pre's, when it's at a higher dose, that does kind of take over the entire experience. You can't really feel much else beyond that because it's just such a potent effect it comes to the forefront. But anyway, let's start off at the beginning like we always do. So. I'd say you feel the caffeine within a good sort of 20, 30 minutes. When it concerns the beta aniline, you don't really feel it all too much. I'd say maybe a five out of 10 on the tingle scale, enough to know it's in there, but it's not gonna blow your head off or you know get you moving out of your seat necessarily. So the beta aniline's a bit on the weaker side, which if you don't like it, obviously that's a thumbs up. If you do like it, you might miss it a little bit, but like I say, it is in there to a little bit, to a little degree. Um, that 400 caffeine does come in strong, so obviously that does that. That is what sets the, the scene and gets that sense of urgency going for you to get your ass moving down the gym. The alpha yahimbine effect doesn't really come in until sort of probably like the 40, 45 minute window. So almost, you know, sort of like a good 20 minutes into your training after you've taken the pre. And then it just gets, yeah, it does build up more and more all the way through your training. And even a little while after your session, that alpha yahimba, like I mentioned in the label section, you do get that jittery feeling, the cold sweats, the excess saliva, the almost restricted breathing. You know, you guys know if you've used alpha yahimba at a, at a higher dose, you know, obviously it's in there at the three milligrams, which is probably towards, you know, the stronger end of what you'd see in pre's these days. One to two milligrams I can deal with, in terms of getting the positive effects from it, you know, that buzz, the energy kick, without the negatives that I've mentioned, but three milligrams is just unavoidable. You do definitely get it, which some people love because they like to be slapped hard by their pre-workout. Some people don't really like it. I'm in the, in the bracket of people that don't really like it when it's at that high dose. So it's one of these pre's that I have mucked around with when it concerns the serving amount. I've used half a scoop, three quarter scoop, and a full scoop, which I use today, the full scoop. Half a scoop, you don't really get any of the negatives with the alpha yahimbine because obviously then that would make it 1.5 milligrams. So that cuts off the negatives. You just get the nice buzzy effect. So I'll be honest, half a scoop is my favorite with this product and it still kicks really nicely. Three quarter scoop is still okay, just but those negatives start to rear their ugly head. So you do start to get the jitters and the dribbliness and the runny nose. It starts to come in, full scoop is just full blown there. You know, There's no avoiding it. So. Yeah, basically, if you're gonna pick up this product, have a muck around with the serving amount. Like I say, half a scoop is perfect for me, and then that doubles the serving amount to 50 servings, and it still kicks in pretty damn strong. 
so what I'll say is, if you was to remove the Alpha Himbine, I'd probably say this is like a strong daily driver, but you put the Alpha Himbine in at three milligrams, and then we're going into stim junkie realm when it concerns that high energy sense of urgency type feeling. So yeah, the energy is definitely the standout feature of this product and why you'd want to pick it up. Let's talk about the next thing we look for, and that's the focus. The focus is actually really good. I, I was surprised how good it was because normally with these high alpha yo type pre's, I'm not that focused because I'm so impacted by that the alpha yo negative side effects that I can't really focus on what I'm doing. But it was better than normal. Maybe my tolerance is just getting a little bit better to, to the alpha himbine, but like I say, the negative negatives were still there. But the focus was good. I was dialed in, driven. Confidence was there. I wasn't distracted. I felt locked into the training session. I felt eager to lift heavy and smash it. So yeah, the focus is probably the second best thing behind the energy. The third best thing just behind the focus would have to be the pumps, but they were better than I thought. You know, on here it claims skin tearing pumps. So this is what it says, extreme energy, yes. Yeah. Skin tearing pumps, mm. laser focus, yeah, recovery, you know, which is arguable. I don't really know how it would help with recovery as such. Um, so yeah, the pumps were still above average. They were surprisingly nice. I got a nice mind to muscle connection, nasty deep contractional pump, which is like I say, surprising considering all you've really got in there that's gonna help with pump is L-citrulline, agmatine sulfate, and the betaine, you could argue. And that's about it. Savage pumps in the gym and the bedroom. Wolf pump. And the rest of it is all energy and focus and mood boosting benefits. Speaking of mood boosting benefits, I didn't really feel that as such. It was more of just like a neutral mood, focus driven, high energy type feeling. So it's gonna fall into the bracket of stim junkie for high energy reasons, not that euphoric. There's no euphoric off your bonds, DMAA, DMHA type feeling, quite obviously based on the label. There's none of that. So it is, it is definitely one of those edge of insanity, flapping around, crazy smash the weights, high energy type feeling. So um, yeah guys, like I say, energy, focus, pump, all sitting above average with energy being the most top end thing, the reason why you buy it. But with that comes those negative side effects that I talked about, thanks to that bloody alpha yo. But you can take a lower scoop to mitigate that. So yeah, half a scoop is where it's at for me personally too much on the on the full scoop i did get you know the restricted breathing you know I, I didn't feel i felt like it impacted my endurance in a negative way like it always does when it's at that sort of dose but anyway i think you get the point the alpha inbine no don't like it at that dose but the rest of the pre-workout yes i do like it as an overall package and i like the fact you can take less of a scoop to to lessen that, that um, those negative side effects so yeah i think i've covered all of it guys stim junkies definitely it's obviously not for beginners. Even at half a scoop, I do think it probably would be a bit too strong for beginners simply because of the alpha yo. Um, for the price point, yeah, I'd say it's worth it. It's, it's priced better than average and it is a better than average pre-workout. So I can definitely recommend it, but you have to be one of these people that likes so those slap you around the face, high energy alpha yo type pre's. Otherwise you will not like it. You know, so take that as a warning sign. Um, other than the alpha him by negatives, I didn't really get anything else. No appetite suppression. It didn't keep me buzzing off my tits for the entire day. There was no crash. So yeah, yeah, not not a bad pre-workout overall. I would say it's um, it's not incredible. It's not amazing, but I'd say it's very good, very good, worth that price point, and it helps that it tastes pretty good as well. So. Yeah, well done, Rich, Rich Gaspari. Well done, Gaspari Nutrition. And again, thank you, The Sup Shop, for sending it down for an honest review. You know, if you've used it, let us know down below your thoughts on it. Did you muck around with the serving amounts? What's your thoughts on Alpha your Himbine? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Or are you sort of in the middle, depending on the dose? Let us know all of your thoughts and feelings. And as always, stay stimmed. <laughs>